The game is amazing. The energy is to the roof. Competing there is like, nothing is like that. I love competing in front of people. Safe to say that she is back. It's just the best thing ever. Of course, getting second is amazing, but second place is not enough. I've built a very good routine here, so like every single week looks the same for me. It's really simple, but I think it's very important to have that. If you want to be like consistent, you just have to do the same thing over and over again. So I wake up, I have breakfast, I go to the gym, I work out, eat again, go to the gym, come home, wake up, bring breakfast, go to the gym, work out, have lunch, go back to the gym, work out. <laughs> I'm so like fixated on having the same routine every day. I definitely do need a structure. It's 7 a.m. We're gonna go to the swimming pool. It's not too early, but it's early. I just open my eye, roll out of bed, brush my teeth, chug water and come here. I love training and getting better. It's addicting when you see progress. Progress comes slowly, but then when you see it coming, you're just like, I want more. Like, I want to get even better. You just have to be obsessed about what you're doing. If you do everything to the best of your abilities in preparation, in training, and at actual event, the result will come. Before an event, when I go on the floor, I just visualize the workout that's ahead of me. So I close my eyes and just think about every rep, the movement, the whole workout. Before I do it, I do it in my head. And that calms my nerves and gets me ready to go. I'm gonna go shower, change, and then we go have breakfast, and then we go run. I'm basically my dad in a female form. We are very similar. Everything is basically the same. My mom always says that, that we are the same person. It means a lot to like have him support me with everything I do. He's not my coach, but he's also like always there. No one else talked to me like my dad does. Of course, it's harsh when my dad tells me things like, okay, that was terrible, you have to get better at running. You're so slow, you're like a baby elephant running. 
but I know he wants the best for me for sure because he's my dad, so I'm gonna take the advice and use it. I always come back to him because he knows what I need. It's like a family time because we don't really get to spend a lot of time together. We don't live together anymore, but we don't do dinners and lunches together. We go workouts. <laughs> We are in my mom's favorite place. We are in the garden, which is super small, but has everything. When I was 16, I just really had fun with my brother. I looked up to him like crazy. So I just like, okay, if he does that, I'll do it. If he does this, I'll do that. So I was like his shadow. Yeah, I really looked up to him. I still do, but now we are not in the same garden anymore. We knew that we wanted to go to the game from the get-go, so like that was the goal. We saw it on TV and it was very cool and like he wanted to compete, I wanted to compete, so we didn't really have to talk about what we wanted because we knew from the start. I owe him my whole career because without him I wouldn't be where I am, for sure. It's me and Tsuki is okay. Jesus, it's you. Ez a drág. A a a It feels special to be a Hungarian person at the CrossFit Games. That's a cool feeling, representing my own country, having my flag. My parents, my grandparents, my brothers, everyone is so hyped. They are so proud. Papa used to look good. He doesn't anymore. <laughs> my family support means so much and I for sure wouldn't be where I am without them. <laughs> climbing is still a huge part of my life. It's because of my parents. They built a climbing gym when I wasn't even born. So I was basically born in the climbing gym. When I was younger, I used to come here every single day. Even when the gym wasn't open, I was like, Dad, can we go climb now? I really loved it and I knew I had to train, like work out. But I wasn't climbing, I was recovering or stretching or I even helped with the kids there as well. So it was fun. My mom and dad can't really handle all the kids by themselves. So I just go and help them like do warm ups and then teach them how to climb. I was like national champion for six years in a row, I think. And then I stopped. And then I went to like World Cups and European Cups. I think my best finish is a podium in like a European championship. I was good, but not exceptional. But I was very good in Hungary. Hát azért, mert uh, minden mozgásban nagyon ügyes voltál, jól másztál, jó volt a áttekintő képessége, jól találtad ki az utakat, és szerettél ma sokat mászni. És mindig sokat kell dolgozni ahhoz, hogy valaki jó legyen. Nagyon erős akaratú lány vagy, tehát amit a fejedbe veszel, akkor azt Véghez viszed, és nagyon nagy a munkabírásod, és nagyon szívesen edzel nagyon sokat. Két tehetség közül mindig az a sikeresebb, aki többet tud dolgozni. Yep, he never said anything like that to me before, so yeah. Climbing helped me with CrossFit for sure. It's definitely shaped me athletically, but also as a person. So it's the beginning of the season right now. You're just training. Not for the Open, but more like semifinals and the games. We are focusing on endurance stuff, like running, swimming, rowing, lots of machine work. A little bit of lifting and then obviously I focus on 
my pressing and pulling strings, so do a lot of that, which I am gonna do today. Historically, I'm not great at pressing, especially hands and push-ups. Before, I used to a little overdo it, and now I have like three days in the week where I really focus on hands and push-ups three times a week. I'm trying to make my weaknesses my strength, but I just try not to compare my hands and push-ups to someone who is like the best at hands and push-ups. I try to compare my hands and push-ups to me last year or me two years ago, and then if it's getting better for me, that's a win. When hands and push-ups or any kind of matter of my weakness comes up in competition, I try not to stress about it. They are there, I worked on them, and then we'll see how they go. I know I can do them. I'm probably not as good as anyone else, but it's one workout. I don't let it already make me upset, and then I don't even perform as good as I can perform. I think I have always been confident in myself. I never question my abilities. Put the work in and now I just have to showcase it or like enjoy all the hard work. I'm excited about the season to start, but I'm for sure most excited to compete at the games. Measure myself against everyone else and also myself. I think the previous years weren't really as enjoyable or like as fulfilling as they could have been because I was like caught up on things that I couldn't control or like was focusing on things that I shouldn't have. So looking back now, I was like, why didn't I feel happier? It definitely felt good to finish second for the second time because the previous two years didn't go as I wanted them to go. I wanted to take first, so second place didn't make me as happy as it should have been. At the end of the season, I want to feel like I did everything I could to accomplish my goals. It matters, of course, where the placing is going to be, but as long as I know like I did every single thing, I went to the gym, I ate right, I recovered right, I, I did everything to my best of my abilities to win the CrossFit Games. And yeah, then I'll be happy. 